Good morning, I'm Neva Reddy Manu and this is your Morning News Fix for Tuesday 5th of March. In this update, the plan to hike vehicle registration fees by $50 over the next two years to help pay for the government's draft transport plan is being labelled fair and reasonable. The $21 billion policy includes 15 roads of national significance and a $500 million pothole prevention fund. Transport Minister Simeon Brown says the fee hasn't increased since 1994. Motor Trade Association Simon Bradwell says our fees are cheap by world standards. It's been kept at a pretty affordable level for Kiwis for a long time in the face of inflation and other pressures. So to look at that as a means of raising revenue, I think we'd have to say, yep, fair enough. But cycling advocates are slamming the government's proposals. Cycling Action Network spokesman Patrick Morgan says this plan is the worst transport plan they've ever seen. He says governments all around the world are investing in walking, cycling and public transport. But Morgan says this government is doing the opposite, squandering billions of dollars we don't have on highways that only make our problems worse. The Prime Minister is flying to Melbourne today to meet with Southeast Asian leaders. Christopher Luxon has been invited to a special summit held by Australia to mark its 50-year relationship with the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Political reporter Demelza Jackson is with the delegation. It will be a whirlwind day of talks for Luxon, who is due to meet one-on-one with eight of his ASEAN counterparts, many for the first time. The bloc is a major trading partner for New Zealand, being our third largest goods export market with a value totalling $9.65 billion in 2022. The trip is also a chance for Luxon to speak with trans-Tasman business leaders to hear how they're faring. Luxon returns tomorrow. Former prison guard David Benbow will be sentenced in the High Court at Christchurch today for the killing of his childhood friend. Christchurch builder Michael McGrath was last seen at his Horswell home in May 2017. Benbow was charged with his murder two years later and found guilty in October 2023. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that Donald Trump should remain on Colorado's primary ballot. It's rejecting a challenge to his eligibility for another term that could have upended the presidential race by taking him off ballots around the nation. The justices have offered different reasons, but the decision was unanimous. On his social media platform after the ruling, Trump wrote, Big win for America. Weather conditions should ease today, but you might want to wear some extra layers. Many parts of both islands were battered by gale force winds and heavy rain yesterday. Met Service meteorologist Claire O'Connor says temperatures are set to plummet, particularly in the south. In sport, the Breakers Australian Basketball League season has come to an end, beaten 88-85 by the Hawks in Illawarra. Athletics New Zealand High Performance Director Scott Newman's hailing the efforts of the two gold medal winners, high jumper Hamish Kerr and 1500 metre runner Geordie Beamish at the World Indoors. Newman says he reckoned both were medal chances but maybe not gold. Finally, coach Ivan Cleary expects 5'8", Jerome Luai to be passed fit from a shoulder injury for the NRL season opener against Melbourne on Friday. I'm Neva Retimanu, and that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.